What's up, nerds? This is Mr. Storm. Today we're going to talk about Google Sheets. We're going to get into the common spreadsheet tasks. Uh, uh, it's just going to be a series of challenges to uh, just like you did last time, um, and it's going to help you to learn some of the more, um, I don't know, kind of demanding but uh, awesome and more complex things you can do with Google Sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and open up spreadsheet tasks. Let me take a look at what the challenges are for the day. All right, first one, creating simple formulas. Uh, open the example file. And I will quickly, before I forget, make a copy once it loads. All right, make a copy. And then get rid of that. OK. All righty. So the first thing is select the challenge sheet. So let's go ahead and select the challenge sheet. In cell D4, create a formula that multiplies cells B4 and C4. And be sure to use cell references. So let's go ahead and find cell D4. It's going to be over here in column D and cell 4. So cell D4 is right there. And then it wants us to add, or sorry, multiply cells B4 and C4. And we're going to use cell references, uh, and I'll show you why in just a second. So a quick way to write a formula is whenever you have a cell selected, all you have to do is type the equals key, and that'll uh, be uh, your cue to Google Sheets that you're writing a formula. And then we can just start typing our formula. I usually like to put it in parentheses so that it's easier to remember uh, what's part of the formula and what's not. But we want to times cell B4 by cell C4. So I'm going to type B4. And then I'm going to use the asterisk, which is the uh, key for times. And notice that it, uh, it colors in the cell that I'm referencing so that I can quickly see what I'm looking at. So cell B4 times C4. And when I hit enter, it's going to go ahead and do that operation for me. But you can also see right here, it's going to tell me what the value is of that operation. So I can already get a preview of it. All right, so that's how you write a formula. And when you select the cell, you can actually look up here and see the formula up in the formula bar. OK, cool. So let's take a look at step four. Use the fill handle to copy the, f the formula to cells D5 and D6. So if I select cell D4 again, I see this little square here in the corner. That's the fill handle. So when I hover over it, my cursor turns into kind of a plus. I can grab that and drag it down, and it will copy that formula into these cells. But it will also update the cell references. So instead of it being B4 times C4, down here it's B5 times C5. And this is B6 times C6, which is fantastic. So we don't have to go in and change a bunch of values. In D7, create a formula that adds cells B4, 5, or D4, D5, and D6. Well, that's pretty easy. Down here in D7, we can do equals and oh, equals, and we can actually do a sum, and we can put in all of the cell references. So we can do D. Uh, four, and we can actually do colon D6, so that it's basically saying D4 through D6. Colon in Google Sheets is the is the uh, character for through, and again, it's going to show us our preview to see how much. So 107, 80, 11, 35, uh, 114, 24, all that added together is 233, 30, 39. So that's a quick way to do formulas in Google Sheets. Um, change the quantity in cell B4 to 15, and you should see cells D4 and D7 change. So right here in B, B4, we have a quantity of 20. Now, if I change this quantity to 15, I don't have to go back and rewrite my formula because it is my formula is written using the cell references. So whatever's in B4 is going to get times with whatever's in C4. So I can change this quantity, which is going to change this value and this value. So this is why we use cell references so that you don't, uh, so you can change the numbers and play around with them and you don't have to go rewrite your formulas every time. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to 15 and hit enter. And notice my line total changes and so does my total for my whole shopping cart. Uh, so that's, that's the first uh, that's the first exercise. Let's go on to the next one. 
And don't forget to um, to uh, you know play around with these and make sure that you are uh, understanding this information as you're going through it. All right, challenge six: creating complex formulas. Let's go ahead and open up the the example file, and I will create a copy once I can. All right, there we go. Make a copy. Okay, what's the first step after that? So we want to select the challenge sheet, and we want to compare two discounts. Uh, the first discount is going to be 20% off of the total, and the second discount is going to take $30 off the total. So 20%, because its uh, percentages are essentially values, that can change over time. So 20% versus $30, which is a... Uh, that is just a hard number, $30. That's not going to change. So we want to see what the difference between 20% off the total versus $30 off the total would be in each instance. So let's go back here. Let's go to challenge. Alrighty. So we have uh, unit price, quantity, line total. Perfect. So we have a 20% discount and a 30 off discount. $30 off discount. Uh, so in cell D6, I'm going to create a formula that calculates the total using 20% off discount. Now, with percentages, um, basically we're taking 20% off, so we're looking at we're looking for 80% of the total. So all we have to do to find this is we multiply uh, 0.8 by the sum of the line totals. Okay. Uh, so let's go back. Let's go here. And so I'm going to do equals. And I'm going to do so the sum of the line totals. So here's the fun part. So sum, I have to find the sum of the line totals first. So I'm going to do sum. And it's going to be, let's see, D3, D3, colon, D5. OK. So that's going to, that operation is going to go first. And then I want to times that by 0.8. Okay. Now, order of operations is still important, so you want to make sure you you respect order of operations. Just remember parentheses are always first. So if you want to force, if you want to make sure part of your uh, formula uh, is going to go first, you can also throw an extra pair of parentheses around that operation to ensure that that goes first. We want the sum first then we want to times that by 0.8, which will give us 80%. Okay, and there we go. So that's our 20% discount. So uh, we'd have our total, and then we have our 20% discount here. Let's go back. All right, in cell D7, create a formula that, that just simply subtracts $30 from the total. Well, that's easy compared to what we just did. So let's go ahead and do that, equals, and then I will do sum of D3 colon, where are we at, colon, uh, D5. And then I'm going to add 30, all right? And I'm going to add my extra parentheses around it just to make sure, um, just to make sure that it, uh, oh, not add, we want to subtract 30, sorry, minus 30, OK. Um, so yeah, basically the same the same uh, function. I'm going to enter. So we can see with a $30 off discount, um, we pay $164. But with a 20% off discount, we pay $155. And we could change these totals and actually play around with it and probably find an instance where a 20% off discount would be more, uh, we would save more than a $30 off discount. So let's say if we bought 50 of these, right? Uh, we would actually save more with the with the 20% off discount as opposed to the $30 off discount. So that's that's uh, that's a quick way to compare two different um, two different mathematical operations. And all we did was write two very simple uh, functions there. So good times or simple formulas. All right, next one. Let's open up the sample file, and I will create a copy. Make a copy. All righty. And uh, let's see. OK, so what are we going to do? I'm going to get rid of that one. And I want to select the challenge sheet. So I'm going to go over to challenge. Perfect. And in cell D4, I want to create a formula that's going to calculate how much the customer would save on each item by multiplying the unit price, 
quantity, and the discount shown in cell E2. So let's take a look at that really quickly. Um, so we have a discount shown in cell E2. It's a 15% discount. And so I want to multiply the unit price by the quantity and then apply the discount. Okay. Um, so let's take a look here. So in cell D4, that calculates how much the customer would save on each item by multiplying the unit price, quantity, and discount shown in E2. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to D4. And I'm going to start it out with an equals. Don't forget to do that. And I'm going to times the unit price. So that's going to be cell B4, B4, uh, times the uh, quantity, which is C4. Okay, I'm going to wrap a parentheses around that. So I make sure that operation goes first. And then I want to apply the discount to it. Uh, and so that discount is going to be cell E. Oh, we'll just go ahead and do it times E2. Okay. Oh, there's a problem. We have one or more open parentheses. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Oh, yep, I see why. We have, we needed an extra parenthesis right there. I don't know why. Actually, I have too many parentheses. Let's go ahead and get rid of some. Perfect. All right. So we're going to times B4 by C4, and then we're going to times it by E2, which will be 15%. But actually, we don't want it to be 15% because, or just the 15, because what it's going to do is going to time that by actually 15. So what we want to do is times it by zero, 0.15. Okay, and that's going to give us eight dollars and fifty-three cents. Um, so, yeah, let's let's go ahead and check our math and see if that actually works. So, three seventy-nine times fifteen. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's the that's the uh, discount. So it'll take eight dollars and fifty three cents off. And so this is going to be sell. Yep. So that works out. That's what we're looking for. Um, perfect. OK, so now we have one formula working. Uh, then we can use the fill handle and copy it down. Perfect. There we go. And then all of these get updated, right? And these, because we use cell references for these, they uh, continuously update as we go down, which is perfect. Awesome. All righty. Okay. Number eight, we're, we are flying through these. Let's go ahead and do number eight. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to cut the video here. Go ahead and uh, I'll make another one uh, for eight and nine. Um, and you guys can come back and check out the video for eight and nine, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it here because this is getting kind of long. All right. Thanks for paying attention and I will see you next time.